Hello, children, Mr. Hussain. Hello. Hello. I did see that's what we all missed. Hello. <laughs> What's going on, Mrs. Stanescu? Uh, not much, you know, just had my last lesson with my new levels today. So, so good times, times good times. Yes, yes. <laughs> The best moment of the whole year. <laughs> Free time ahead. So by by demand or by popular request, direct in inverse proportion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So we found two uh, new spec non-calc questions. We thought that might be useful. Mm -hmm. Should we do it? Yes. Let's. All right. Uh, so this is a table one actually. Uh, there, there are quite a few table uh, proportionality questions. So this will be interesting to go through. So the table shows a set of values for x and y. Y is in. <laughs> There's just a helicopter guy in place. Y is inversely proportional to the square of x. Find an equation for y in terms of x. So what's the important sentence we should be looking out for? Uh, y is inversely proportional to the square of x. There's only one sentence, isn't it? <laughs> so y is inversely proportional, and inversely proportional is... K over. One main thing. And the square of x... Is one thing where they kind of get a little bit uh, mixed up with. You know, can you do you have a highlighter? Yes, you have a highlighter. Do I have a highlighter? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm still new to this. I'm still new to this. <laughs> so we can. <clears throat> do you use the proportionality sign first, or do you go straight into? K? I do. Yes. Okay. Okay. So if we say that y is inversely proportional, one over. Yeah. Yes, and then the square of x means x squared, not the square root of x. Are mm -hmm. we happy with that? Yeah. And then to bring in the equal sign, we bring in the k. So k. y is equal to k over x squared. So every time after you say k in a question, you have to say k. Okay. K. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, joke. All right. No. <laughs> so first thing we do, whenever we're trying to do a proportionality question, I nearly said it wrong, what's the first thing maybe we should attempt to do? Uh, let's work out k, k. Let's work out k, k. Okay. <laughs> I can see this getting out of hand. All right. So looking at the table, it might be a little bit confusing as to what we have, it's a non-calculated uh, mm -hmm. paper. Mm -hmm. So we should be avoiding the fractions and the decimals, yes. I would say. So a nice combination of values is x equals to one and y is equal to nine. And I think that might work quite nicely, mm -hmm. yeah? So let's plug it in. So y is equal to k over x squared. We know that y is equal to nine, so we can say nine is equal to k over x squared, which is one squared, okay? Hi. Right. Uh, so in order to find k, we're going to run out of space, so I'm going to have to go here, isn't it? So in order to find k, uh, the opposite of dividing by 1 squared is times in by 1 squared. So 9 times 1 squared, which is obviously 9 times 1. So k is equal to 9. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, I always kind of put it back into the formula. So I would rewrite this, but this time with k. Yeah, that's always a mark. Oh, is it? Writing that. Well, that's the equation, so I guess, and that's what they're asking for, isn't substituting, it? Substituting... Um, K the value button. for k you okay. worked out in the uh, equation is always one mark. Cool. Regardless of what the question is asking you. Regardless. So y is equal to 9 over x squared. And that's actually what the first part of the question is asking, mm -hmm. no? Indeed. Cool. So we've now found an equation of y in terms of x. And instead of having k, we've found out what the constant of proportionality is. Mm -hmm. Done? Done. Yes, yes, back in the game. All right, <laughs> find a positive value of x when y is equal to 16. Should we do it? Let's. All right, so we've got our master formula. <laughs> I like to say. So y is equal to 9 over x squared. We're going to use that. Uh, so this time, what is it asking us to work out? x, yeah? Mm -hmm. When y is equal to 16. Mm -hmm. So can I, I can't write on top of that, can I? Should we write here? I'm going to yes. do it here. So y is equal to 16. And that's equal to 9 over x squared. What would you do here, miss? How would you solve that? Um, personally, because I've done so many of them, I just do x squared is equal to 9 over 16. Okay. But probably if I wasn't, if I didn't know that was going to happen, I'd multiply by x squared and then I divide by 16. Yeah. Should we do the two-step? The two-step. Let's do the two-step. Two-step. <laughs> No one's amused. I'm just today. <laughs> giving him a really disappointed look now, guys. <laughs> Narrating so, what's going on here. We're going to times by x squared to get rid of the fraction is equal to 9. And then divide by 16 to get rid of the 16. <laughs> so x squared is equal to 9 over 16. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so in order to get x by itself? Square root. Square root. So x is equal to the square root of everything. Everything. And we can better write that as... 3 over 4. Yeah, square root of 9 is 3, square root of 16 is 4. And is that our answer? It is. Yeah! 
Well done, sir. You still oh, got it. Thank you very much. Tick! <laughs> Four marks for sir. All right, we'll see you for another um, direct and inverse proportional clip shortly. Bye. Bye.